Okay, fantastic. You have just purchased inline sib to work with your existing equipment. And it uh, comes in the box. There will be directions in the box. Of course, you can go to the website and get, any more, get, get more directions. It will come with a, with a hopper adapter. All you need to do is drill a couple holes in the top of your, top of your hopper lid, which I've already done. Remove the adhesive tape from the back. Drop it into your hopper. Make sure that it's pressed down. Make sure it's clean. And from that point, drop in the inline sieve to the adjustable collar. From there, it's adjustable up and down, whatever height you need to go for your hopper. Okay, our inline sieve pump functions obviously different than everybody else on the market. Number one, we're pulling our material through a screen. We're conditioning it. Number two, our pump is not utilizing all the atomizing air to feed powder through the hose. We're using atomizing air to clean the screen. And number three, at most gun settings, you're going to see a higher density, lower velocity cloud coming through our pump. And all of these things result in better transfer efficiency, better quality, and better application characteristics. So if you're running a Wagner gun, our pump comes keyed to match your existing Wagner quick disconnects. All you have to do is unhook your Wagner connectors, plug them into our inline sieve, and you're ready to go. Okay, today we're going to test with Wagner. And uh, get you familiar with the gauges a little bit. We've unhooked the, the atomizing air and the powder air to show you how they work. We've got our total air set at 3.5. We've got our powder set at 3.5. As we pull the trigger, we've got both air coming out of both atomizing and powder. As we go up with the powder, you will eventually see the atomizing air completely drop off. And there it went. Okay, we use the atomizing air to clean our screen. So we have to have some atomizing air coming out. We, we can guarantee operations at 65 to 70 and below. The reason that, that inline sieve has a better density cloud and lower velocity at the mid-range settings is because as we go down here in the 30 to 35 settings, you'll see all this air coming out your atomizing. Well, all that air is coming through your powder line going to your part. With our pump, we're using this to clean the screen, so you're not seeing all that at the tip of the gun. Okay, our pump functions best when we have air coming through both lines. Therefore, when we get up to 70, we aren't guaranteeing operations. And let's face it, at 70, all you're really doing is wasting powder. Okay, so today we're testing with Wagner. We're going to go through best settings. We are going to be looking at uh, a low setting of probably 3 point, let's go 3.3, and let's set our powder at probably 4.3. I like to think in terms of, of 10, steps of 10. At that range, you're going to have a nice soft cloud. You're going to be able to get inside the boxes and uh, have, have, a, have a, a nice, nice, even cloud. For a normal run, you're probably going to be around 4% on total air. 4% on total air. And your powder will probably be around 55, 60. And for a high setting, you're probably going to be running around 4.5 uh, and upwards of 65. That'll be your high settings. 